dividing thirds. This is the rule we're going to apply. Okay, square root of B, A over square root of B is same as A over B or square root. For example, okay, square root of 6 over square root of 3 is just same as 6 over 3. Okay, but square root the whole lot. So 6 over 3 is 2. So your answer is 2, but square root of 2. Okay, that's how it works. Um, let's go through a few examples to make it clear, all right? So square root of 12 over square root of 2. So 12 over 2 is 6. So therefore, okay, square root 6 is like this. It's 12 over 2. So that means 12 over 2, 2 is 6. So it's the answer is square root of 6. Next one here. Square root of 30, okay, divided by square root of 6, which is 30 over 6. Okay, so just go 30, divide by 6 if you like. You can even write like that. And then 30 divided by 6 is 5. So your answer is square root of 5. Now, this one here. So 20 square root of 6 divided by 5 square root of 3. 20 divided by 5 is 4. You see? Now 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that means 4 root 2. Okay, or you can write in fractions and then simplify. Sometimes it's good to write in fractions as well, like this. Um, 6 over 5 square root 3, you can just go back to give me 4. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so that means 4 root 2. Okay, you can do like that as well. There are many ways to do it. Okay, this one here, same thing apply. A negative divided by positive, of course, is a negative. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Then you go 105 divided by 5. 5 go to 10. Okay, 5 go to 10 is 2. 5 go to 5 is 1. So square root 21. And there's no square number in 21 because 21 is 7 times 3 only. So there's none of them um, square number. So that's the best you can do. Okay. Now, this one here. Exactly the same. Okay, so what we do? 6 divided by 3 is 2. Correct? Now 50 divided by 5. Now remember, 50 square root of 50 over square root of 5 is same as 6, 50 over 5 square root. Okay, so 5, 50 over 5 is 10. So that means 2 square root of 10. That's what it is. All right, this one here, same, same rule apply. So 20 divided by 4, okay, is 5. So now 62, just go 62 over 2. Okay, 6 go to 2 is 3, 2 go to 6 is 3 times, 2 go to 1, 2 go to 2 is 1, so 31. So 5 square root of 31, okay. Otherwise, just use your calculator if you're not confident. So just go 62 over 2. It gives 31. In fact, show you how. So all you need to do, you go um, 62 okay, over 2. See, 31. Okay. This one here. Okay, there are two ways to do it. One way, you just do dividing. The other way, you simplify first. Either way. In fact, I'm going to do both ways for you. See how how it works okay now at the moment okay all i need to do is i go 15 because i had 1500 divided by 3 right so just think about 15 divided by 3 is 5 so you left with 500 okay square root over 5 now 500 divided by 5 okay square root 500 divided by 5 500 divided by 5 is give me 100 so which is Sorry, my bad. 500, okay, cannot divide by 5 because 5 is a whole number and then 500 inside the thirds. So I simplify 500 first. So 500 is, remember, 500 is 100 times 5. So square root of that is square root of this, which is 10 root 5. Ah, that's better. So you go 10 square root of 5. 
So divide by 5. That cancel out. Give me 2. So the answer is 2 square root of 5. Is that okay? So that's that's how you do this. That's how you do it. I'm gonna show you different techniques. If you like, I clear this first. You can also do this. Um, and then do whichever way you like really because there is no concrete rule for that and and just just do however you like as long as you know the process now I, I can simplify this first okay so this one here 1500 it's just same as 100 a uh, 100 times 15 so if you square root that give me 10 square root of 15 see it's 5 root 3 so then that give me 2, 15 divided by 3 is 5, but because the answer on the top of course, 15 bigger than 3, so 15 divided by 3 is 5, so it's 2 root 5. Okay, so this one here. Okay, let's do last one on this one. 28 square root of one, 120 divided by 7 root 6. Now, what you need to do is simplify it first. So it's the same thing. So what I do, I simplify 28 and 7 first. So 28 divided by 7 is 4. Now, 120 divided by 6. It's just like, think about it, okay? 12 divided by 6. You ignore the 20 first. I mean the, the 0 first. 12 divided by 6 is, is what? That's right, it's 2, correct? So it's 4 square root of 2 and a 0, which is 20. Okay, but you can't leave it here because 20, there is a square number inside there. So which is 20, okay, is 4 times 5, correct? So it's just 4 times 5. Now remember, 4 is, square root 4 is 2. So 2 root 5, that's your answer there. So which is 4 times 2 is 8. So your answer is 2 root 8. Oh, sorry, 2 root 5. That's what I meant. 8 root 5. Sorry about that. That's the answer, all right? Thank you so much for watching my videos.